Welcome to 10 Steps to an Effective Multimedia PowerPoint Presentation. I call this presentation Less is More because of a current trend of overloading our PowerPoint presentation screens until they become boring, distracting, and ineffective. Has this ever happened to you? Pause this video now and take a minute to listen to Death by PowerPoint by Don McMillan. Here is my summary of what not to do. It's distractive and upsetting. If you can stand to look at it, it does actually contain 10 of my favorite not to do tips. But in the next slides, I will take a more positive approach and explain what can be done to create an effective PowerPoint presentation. First, let me explain what multimedia really is. We can read information or listen to it. Those are our two channels for receiving information. Lessons that are presented using both channels cause the learner to actively process and integrate the two, while also integrating this with their existing knowledge. This is a very effective way to promote understanding and long-term memory. The term visual literacy refers to our ability to do this processing. Instructors can help learners with their visual literacy by reducing the challenge of connecting the information coming in through the dual channels. This will be accomplished by keeping related information close together to save eye scanning or screen scanning to find the related parts. In the following screens, I will present my 10 tips for creating a well-designed PowerPoint presentation. The color schemes you choose subconsciously sets a tone for your presentation. I chose soft blue for the introduction to create a feeling of peace and simplicity. I now choose green as a go color because I'm hoping learners will be inspired to take action here. Humans can only process so much new information at a time, so it's wise to break learning into chunks. Also, humans can only focus on so many visual and audio signals at a time, so I chose simple text and only my voice as audio. As the video explained, the most boring thing you can do is display a screen full of bulleted text that you plan to read word for word for your guests. I chose to summarize my points and explain them fuller with voice. Another way to bore people is to go off on tangents or brag about everything you know about a topic. How will your learners focus on the main points if you can't? Using multimedia, as explained in the beginning of the presentation, will increase understanding. Shown here are images of types of media that can be useful for understanding depending on the topic. It's best to include both audio, that is music, voice, or video, and visual, text, images, graphs, charts, or diagrams. If you were to note only the headings in the colored boxes on this presentation, you would have a clear outline of the presentation. I have used these headings and their color as signals of what is being presented. While images are visual content, it's best to use only those related directly to the target. Visual literacy is improved if voice is used to explain charts and graphs to avoid requiring learners to scan from text to the chart in order to make connections. Nothing drives a point home, like inviting learners to critique, improve, or summarize a lesson. All this invitation to add visuals and audio to a PowerPoint can create temptation to overload a screen. The danger of overload is that learners have limited ability to absorb it all. As instructors, we must not leave it to the learner to choose what to ignore. We must avoid temptation to include adorable cartoons, meaningless decoration, and choose ways to relate simultaneous information that does not overload cognitive capacity to process. That was a lot of information. Did you notice any errors in this presentation? Did I walk the walk as well as talk the talk? How would you improve it? And most important, how will you remember it? Take a moment to consider how you would answer these questions and feel free to discuss it with someone near you now. I think a good summary of what I was trying to present here is the more important your topic is, the less you want to lose, distract, or bore your audience. Therefore, the less you want to say. However, use multimedia when you say it to increase learner understanding and retention. With informed planning, you will display less on your screen while simultaneously saying more, and that will benefit your listeners. Thanks for listening.